Hi, this is a walkthrough for adding an insert update that will create a chatter post every time you run a DDP. If every time you run a DDP you want to see a post be created on an object or a user's chatter feed or perhaps a chatter group, an insert update record is required. So to add the insert update you must first navigate to the DDPs tab. Then once you're in the DDPs tab you must select the appropriate DDP. And then once you're in the DDP detail page, you must navigate down to the insert updates object and select the insert update button. This will initiate the insert update edit page. The first field you have to satisfy in this edit page is the object name. If you want to insert a chatter post using an insert update, the object you must choose is called feed item. Next, you'll be asked if you want to attach the output file to this object whenever the insert update is performed. So that is the merge document in PDF or original format. Next, you'll be asked to enter a description of the insert update. This is for internal use only, so if you feel a description is not necessary, you can go ahead and skip this field. And then next you'll be asked to create field value pairs. These are the fields that will be inserted or updated in your insert update. So if you want to create a chatter post using an insert update, you must have field value pairs for two fields. The first is the parent ID, which identifies where the chatter post will be created. So you can create a chatter post on an object, on a user's chatter feed, or in a chatter group, but you need those IDs in order to create the chatter post to those objects. So you can gain access to those IDs in the field tagger. And let's say we want to post to the related account every time this insert update is run, we can grab the account ID and then place it in the parent ID field value pair. Next, we must include the value for the field value pair of the body. This will essentially become the subject of our chatter post. And you can include merge tags in here as well to make it dynamic. As an example, we can create a body of proposal sent to and then use the merge tag for account name to dynamically bring in the related account name every time we run this insert update. You can always update or insert more than two fields. If you want to add more field value pairs, you can select the add field link. This will create more field value pairs for you to enter in. Next, if you want to control the order in which your insert updates are initiated, you can enter a number here. But this only applies if you have more than one insert update on a DDP. If you want to submit the post and output file to your approval process, you can select the checkbox here. and then. Finally, for the top section, you must choose which delivery methods this insert update is going to be initiated with. So if you select all, then that means all your delivery options will initiate this insert update. But if you want to limit it to specific delivery methods, then you can choose those here. In this example, we're going to limit the chatter post to the attached to Salesforce, Salesforce email, and sent to content delivery options. In the second section of the insert update edit page, you can manage filter criteria. This will further filter when your chatter post is created. As an example, you can include the merge tag for opportunity stage and enter a value of close in the right column. And then this chatter post will only be run every time the opportunity stage is equal to close. You can add additional filter criteria by selecting the add filter link. And if you want to further manage your filter criteria, you can add advanced filter conditions in the final field of the insert update edit page. As an example, you can enter one and two if you have two filter criteria, and then this insert update will only be performed if both filter criteria one and filter criteria two are satisfied. Alternatively, you can enter in one or two in this field, that means that the insert update will be performed if filter criteria 1 or filter criteria 2 is satisfied. 
Once you are satisfied with all your values in the insert update edit page, you can select save. And then once it saves, you'll be taken back to the DDP detail page and your insert update will be ready for use. So to use your insert update, you must navigate to a record on your main object. In this case, an opportunity record. Then you must select the loop plus button, choose the appropriate DDP, and then in the third step, you're limited to the delivery option selected in the delivery methods field of your insert update edit page. So if you recall, we chose to only have our insert update run if we attached to Salesforce, sent through Salesforce email, or sent to content. So we must choose one of those delivery options if we want to initiate the chatter post. Once you select your delivery method, select run and the document will be processed. Once the document process is complete, your chatter post will be created. And according to the way we configured this specific insert update, the output file will be included in that chatter post as well. Now that we've been taken back to the opportunity record, we can navigate to the associated account and view that our chatter post was in fact created, dynamically brought in the account name, and included the output file. And that is how you add an insert update to a DDP which posts to chatter. Thank you.